Hello bees, happy new year. What was your guys' new year's resolution? Because my new year's resolution was that I wanted to get 100 subscribers and I also started this channel about a year ago. And I met my goal uh, because of you guys. So I want to just thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, clicking on the like button, subscribing, and even commenting on my videos. Anyway, I want to review this stone paper notebook. And I think this is the most exciting notebook that I want to start off the year with because it's so soft and you can just dump it in the water and nothing will happen to it. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you guys and just um, write with like a typical pen, highlighter, and see what happens with it when I dump it into water. So let's go ahead and check that out. So before I go into uh, showing you the stone paper that I have, there are different kinds of notebooks that you can get the stone paper with. So something very similar to this, where it's very light and compact so you can bring it to field day or for school related stuff or if you just like putting the cover behind to write anything, you could use this kind. So I will be demonstrating everything that uh, with these pens. So for example, I will write with the highlighter, a Pilot G2 pen, a felt pen, a pencil, a typical like pen that you could buy from Office Depot, Office Max, and a Pilot V5RT. So, this is a 144 gram per meter squared paper, meaning that this is one of the heaviest pieces of paper that I've ever reviewed. And on their website it says 100 sheets, but here it says 80 sheets. Um, I didn't uh, count, but um, I will later put it in the description to see which one is true. So this is the front. The entire notebook is made out of the stone paper. So even, even this flap right here. So it's tear resistant, um, as I will de demonstrate later on. Um, and this is what it looks like inside. There's it, All the pieces of paper are gray lines and gray borders. So one of, their, one of the Michael Rios uh, signatures are to color the borders with like a certain color. For example, this one is gray, but there are others that are multicolored. And this is the back. So I'm going to show you how it's tear resistant. I'm like trying my best to rip it and I can't, but it definitely leaves uh, indents like this. Um, and later on, I will just rip this out Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can. There you go. All right, so I'm going to, this is the front page. I'm going to just rip one of them out or tear it out. All the pages are uh, perforated so that you can just rip them out easily. So, let's see. Wow, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've ruined it. <laughs> All right, so I will just write hi on all of them and see if they bleed. Oh, this one's pretty interesting. So when you use a like some kind of felt pen or a ballpoint pen like the G2 is very nice and smooth when you write with it. Put it in. So 
so I just used the pink for this big pen. And a pencil. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate it by putting it in this water, this typical uh, scenario that would happen. You would just purposely put it in a bowl of water. And I'm going to be using uh, a soda for like some kind of heavyweight. Let's see how well this piece of paper will bleed. So as you can tell, this pen bleeds, this pen bleeds, this pen does not bleed, and the pencil does not bleed. Also this uh, pen bleeds and the highlighter bleeds. So if you want to use some sort of, if you want to really protect your notes, the best thing to do is to use a pencil or like a typical um, ballpoint pen that you would buy or even get from a, from a company for free or uh, at a company fair. So I'm going to just leave it in for maybe a couple more minutes. So this is what it looks like when it's all bled. So the pens on the right are the pens that you could use for this notebook so that if, for example, you have the notebook in the rain, then it will keep your notes attached to the paper. As you can see on the bottom too, that still says hi, or sorry, writes hi on the paper. As for the pens on the left side, those pens are a bust. And I've tried to dry it out. And the best thing to do is either lay it flat on the ground or use some sort of hair dryer or heat heated machine to dry this out. And when it doesn't show that it's shiny, then that means that it's all dried up. Because right now it's shiny and it's still wet. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time.